Hello, hello. Playing the pride. 15 lakhs on poker bazi. Anybody who's getting in now. I started playing just a few minutes back and I've had some crazy hands. So we have a stack in the pride. And let me show you the other table. This one. This is also going smooth right now. This is the daily value boost. And this happens quite often. So we've got 10 lakh guaranteed there. And we've got a 15 one here. Let me to check if the stream. I wish we could play music. I actually wanted to. I had some, there was a song that I got made. So I was about to play that here. But then I thought that what if I have copyrighted it? <laughs> so then there will be a strike here. That's the thing. Wait, guys. Can you give me a sign? Oh, yeah, we are. We are live. Yes. I can see the, I know there's a delay, so I know we're live. Cool. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, Shobhit. So much regards to you, your family, and especially the little one. How is he learning? How is the poker lessons, early poker lessons coming along? Um, are you are you strict with him? <laughs> what is the scene? It, it should be funny to watch you uh, poker dad him. <laughs> so yeah, I really want to see that because today I gave an interview and they asked me that you know how common is poker abroad, and I said that at least in the states, poker is like a kitchen game is something that you play on the kitchen table with the dimes and the pennies so which is so cool here right now okay wait i'm really bad at obs but that's good thank you so much muti <laughs> shipping it today even i have a feeling i might just today i'm in the right frame of mind because um from the past few days, I have been doing uh, this thing, this treatment called Shiro Dhara. If you know the other team, team pro, Abhishek Goindi is also in a yoga Ayurvedic retreat, getting some treatments done. So I'm here in Goa and I already have a few Ayurvedic doctors here. So they do this treatment on me called Shiro Dhara, which is very good for the nervous system. So I just finished my treatment and my nervous system is on point. Hi, Naruto. Some cash game tips, always on loss on cash tables. Uh, what I believe is you have to, after you have adapted to your cash tables, I play very little cash, so I don't have expertise in cash games. So I have expertise in tournaments, but what I do, because sometimes I have played cash and it's something that, you know, for me, because I don't have a big sample size, I don't have uh, many concepts clear with that. But what I've heard is the sizing has to be very different, especially from tournaments, how in tournaments we use small sizing. In cash games, the sizings are very big. Um, reads on people matter the most in cash games. So, you know, you should absorb people like, and you should just absorb everything, all the information that you see on tables and make a note in the long run. One day you can... Uh, you know counter on that so I'll give you an example 
uh, you must have seen Davidi Katai and all these players' videos on YouTube where they are trying to bluff a player and the bluff goes through. It's a ridiculous bluff. And we would think, how did he do that? Is he human? So I had a chance to interview a few high stakes poker players in Vegas. And when I spoke to them, especially about this incident with someone who was very close to the Vidika guy, they told me that that guy has been playing with Daviti from last seven to eight years. They play on different cash tables. So he has such a strong read on him. He knows so many things that, you know, what are those instances where he pulls the trigger and takes the bluff or he is doing something uh, fishy? Or when are those times when he's weak or strong? He is. He knows it so well. That's why he's able to make these bluffs. Otherwise, you think he's going to just do it for TV. Uh, he got lucky. The TV got lucky that they were able to capture that shot. Hi, Manish. Thank you so much. Agent 69. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you, Poker Addict. Wait, let me see if you're able to see because, you know, I've been answering to all the chat questions right now only and I know there's a delay. But, yeah, it works, I think. Which is asking me to confirm. Are you sure you want to watch this? Damn, yes, I want to watch this. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I got so scared right now. Why no reply? I gave you such a nice reply for your cash games. Make reads on players and just follow them through. And 100%, uh, you know, uh, you have to play a certain stakes that matches your bankroll firstly, obviously. So that's why you're able to put in the volume sample size, right? Uh, there's no harm in getting your stats checked by a better player. They will tell you your leaks. They will tell you if you're defending enough, if you're three betting enough, and from which position exactly. So that can be very helpful. <laughs> Shobit is talking about teaching his son, um, you know, how to play poker and sharpening his pre-flop skits. I'm going to fold this. This is going to be a bad call here. Even though I because there's a lot that's going to happen. I don't think, yeah, let's see. Yeah, tens for sure. Minimum tens there. To just call, flat call, and just induce, you know, trying to maybe uh, see, and also just being careful that if any of one of us shoves, so then maybe they can fold, something like that. <laughs> Team pros all spending my money on yoga, guys. Adi, that's not true. You should get Shirodhara done. I took Pavan Bansal for a Shirodhara session also in Delhi. Poker Bazi, that time I think he was also a Bazi pro. I'm not able to change tables. Okay, wait. Let me sort this out first. Wait. Yeah, I folded this one. I wanted to do something here and then it got all messed up. So now this is the other table. Damn. You should have just for this. And come here. So he's talking about uh, introducing 
haven't introduced money concept yes yes i mean you can but i don't think kids understand the concept concept of money as yet and that properly so you got to teach those basics to them first in fact you wouldn't believe it i myself uh, i did play a few strategic games here and there but when i played poker i played poker uh real money for the long guest time and i played with people also like my actual friends and stuff so they used to stay up all night and we had that respect for our chips and we all were like uh in love with poker so that was very exciting and uh it's a great a great great strategy to you know just start your poker career because you get to play so many hands and the best part is no one taught me hand rankings no one taught me anything that real money game uh, software was teaching me everything i was just having fun and then obviously you go on youtube and then you find out when first you when you're just curious you'll find something and you'll you know get it like i also wonder how will people find poker in the future there could be like an instant where they find it somewhere and today you wouldn't believe it something so um it was something very i wouldn't believe okay so what happened i okay let's play this hand let me show you i have a queen here but i also have queen 10 there i'm going to all right let's just flat call this one on the other table i'm going to fold this most likely and we just defended and then oh picked up also so now so i'm going to bet a little big over here and look at this one oh a screen now i'm going to flat this just want we wanted okay this is clean oh my god he hits a deuce thank luckily we had a queen <laughs> uh on the other one i'll just show you what happened so i bet here and i bet big um and he's disconnected that's the plan right now okay uh hi moon hi arumanu sasyakal bye guru ji da khalsa bye guru ji ki pate jo bole sonyar <laughs> um uh, hello ma'am how you select hands good luck for your game thank you ahmed thank you mohit welcome the last the lost noob welcome welcome okay over here i'm going to just because the button is opening so wide that we can profitably three bet this hand especially any ace all the ace aces for me at least then obviously all the suited aces then kings in kings also i um three bet a suited king versus him in the small blind before so i can just now bet half pot because we showed aggression pre we have to do this and yes i did say that i might do a hindi stream so i think and but i wanted someone to talk to me at least now even gotham is not available for me today so he actually is available but i don't want to trouble him you know he streamed yesterday also and he's been working hard and adi also is working hard he helped me stream uh, set up this is a fold thank you gagan hi abhishek and i think i did i did i miss a few i missed a few questions in the chat 
let me open them from here okay firstly i'm so scared to open my insta right now because like if i open something that has a copyright strike that's it <laughs> murphy's law in action and you don't know what all happened before when we were setting up <laughs> my puppy was greeting so much ruckus but puppies are cute like that hi honey honey is my he's my team player we we all play like, i think i'm not sure if we played among us also but we, are, we used to play pubg a lot together and i used to be like how do you find time to play so many games watch all the streams uh he doesn't watch all this he watches everything he watches chess matches he watches um all the games i think and then he plays poker also so he's a very cool guy always online and a super super informed person thank you notorious wait how do i even get to my chat adi will think hi all time prophet love your name uh, aapka cash game uh, aap cash game zyada khelte ho ya tournament main tournament zyada khelti hu i'll tell you uska reason kya hai because एक तो आप जब लाइव टूर्नामेंट्स के लिए जाओगे वहाँ पे आपके साथ कुछ भी हो सकता है यू मीन आपको लाइक आप टूर्नामेंट हार भी सकते हो और उसके बाद आप अपने कमरे में बैठे होगे राइट तो मेरे को बहुत सारे टेबल्स खेलने का ज़्यादा मुझे मज़ा आता है एंड उसमें आई फील के मेरा ज़्यादा माइंड पावर यूज़ होता है मेरे को ज़्यादा मज़ा आता है ओके सो इसीलिए मैं टूर्नामेंट्स ज़्यादा खेलती हूँ ऑनलाइन एंड आई प्रेफर ऑनलाइन टूर्नामेंट्स more than live tournaments and also i love live tournaments also but only during the summer not all the time actually i do you know if there will be a tournament in india right now i will definitely show up for it because you know that's the why if that's hardly any tournaments happen so i would definitely go if i can make it Okay, so guys, one of the views in this is going to be me only. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, Adi, Lappy is not getting too hot. But can you help me with the seeing the chat that I've missed? Can you maybe send me a screenshot somewhere? So I'm just not able to do it. I don't know what's going on. Noob, and I think when you join someone stream that time, only those that chat comes, not the previous ones. Never mind. Please ask your questions again. Hi Moon, I followed you on Instagram. Thank you so much, John Smith. Hi Miss Kandidi, please go play Nickelodeon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't play no beats, and. अगर कोई अकेले बैठा हुआ है ऑब्वियसली दैट मीन्स दे आर अ फेयर प्लेयर एंड यू शुड बट दैट ऑल्सो मीन्स दैट दे ऑलवेज विन सो या इट्स अ ट्रिकी वन आई डोंट नो इफ आई एडवाइज यू टू गो एंड प्ले बिकॉज दैट्स गो बी अ टफ ओपन एंड हाँ एंड येस थैंक यू आर यू द स्ट्रीम इज रियली गुड एंड द चार्ट इज वेरी फनी uh okay on my other table i'll show you what i've done i shouldn't do these things <laughs> that was a very loose open but wow what an open what a flop now let's just play this calm and cool because let's uh even though i hate to bet on this flop because this should be you know favor his range Okay, over here I am. Um, I'm gonna fall to an early open, and over here this is why I wanted to do what I wanted to do. So I'll just call here. We are not worried about bearing up. At least I am not. And I just quickly see his stats. 
Okay. <laughs> nice. See, I knew. And that check on the flock was okay. I opened my premium hands and I missed the flop. So that's why I'm checking. And in a lot of scenes, I mean, I would, even if I, I have opened a pair from there, say I'd open like tens, aces, any of those premium top hands, I prefer just checking on that, that flop, that board. So it worked out. Um, please share your Insta. But you said you followed me on Insta. So now, oh, please check your Insta. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to check it after the stream now because I have to focus right now. And then what if something plays that has a copyright strike on it? And I want to keep my volume of the phone on in case someone calls me and it's an emergency. Uh, uh, uh. Hi, Kadir Khan. Hello, hello. So, this is the other table. This is the other table. Hai. And actually, Wow, I was just, I was thinking whether to jam on him or just flat call. Okay, let's take our sweet, sweet time. Mm. On the other table, we, okay, wow. On the other table, we don't have much, I'm folding. And I'm going to hit him. Thank you. <laughs> Nicely done. This is the uh, daily tonic. Wow, what a flop. I'm sorry, I'm like, you know, numb to all these things. Like I remember a few years back, just jumping on my bed, screaming, shouting, and that also late night when everyone else is sleeping. And, um, and especially screaming the most when I get a bad beat. So that was funny. So I am basically, I've just stopped flat calling any hand. I mean, not really, but I'm going to three bet this hand. Adi, I have chat browser, but once I miss a hand, once I miss a chat, then I don't get to see it again. And I'm getting out of this hand. We fold here. And let me show you the other table now. Yes, smooth. That was a smooth transition. On the other table right now, on the button, we have Jack 9 suited, which I will definitely open because suited hai and acha hand hai and me range me hai. Isle hum kholenge. And it's especially unopened hai. And button pe bohat zada advantages hote hai. So, okay, here we just fold. Besito defend kar sakte the if this guy had opened or you know late positions had opened. But abhi hum yahan pe fold karenge and this table pe, dusre table pe bhi mere paas jack two se I'll show you. Card dead or ipo. Isko fold karenge jack two so fold. Vikas Mohan, which hand are you talking about? Uh, when I flopped, no. I don't want the courts or I don't want the flopped voila. Hi agent. Do you play balanced range pre or post flop? And how do you switch ranges in all stages of the tournaments? Okay, so um of course ranges is uh banti hi aise hai that you know they are given for a certain stack size. So I'll give you an example, okay? There is a, agar aapke paas ranges uh, ke charts hai, thik hai? Oh. 
God. I get scared when this song plays. One second. Because I, like I told you, copyright, copyright scary. Okay, I have one more question and by Mio. And hi, Mio. Thank you so much. I have one question to make poker as a career. How much bankroll do you need at start? Okay, I will answer this question to you. And I will also get back to you on uh, this agent. And Vikas, tell me now which hand are you talking about? Because I did give an explanation on that. I have explained you that I didn't have to bet on that flop. Pe. Um, okay, fine. So I'm going to come back with agent 69's question answer about my ranges and i will be back with mio's question because i have four minutes break so i'm going to quickly take this and be back so thank you Wait. now
Hello, hello, back, I'm back. So yeah, we are still on break. Oh, Adi, what are you doing with eight ball? Who are you talking to? Because I haven't seen these chats. <laughs> and thank you so much. I read your comment. I don't think any streamer has asked me to send screenshots of the chats they missed. Respect. Thank you. I'm not even scared if they were like those kind of chats. But yeah, I want to know all the questions that were asked. So yeah, coming back to the first question. So when you have ranges, you have ranges which are open raising, okay? And in open raising, a lot of them are clubbed in one way, which is short stack, which is like 15 big blinds, less than 15. And under 10 is so like really push fold. But under 15 also, there could be some limping, very occasional. There are like some instances. Okay, one second, let me play this hand. And then obviously 20, uh, you know, um, small, uh, 30, 40, 60, and then 100, okay, for example. Because when my stack right now is 75, and in the other tournament also, it's around 75 big blinds. I've made my stack in big blinds, so it's easy for me to know my uh, big blinds. And when I'm playing live, I'm always just autopilot like know exactly how you know that a calculation happens because you have a, a check on the clock you know the levels and then you quickly do it and you have to do it because when you're considering other people's ranges you also have to know how many how many chips they have so it's very important to count your stack and know exactly what every denomination is because at one glance you should be able to tell what the other person is exactly sitting with Okay, and uh, ranges, especially open, opening ranges, are very uh, similar, uh, at least 40 and 60, I feel, are very similar. So what happens is we are super, um, you know, so it, it's basically like it gets, it changes, you know, so you, you have to adapt to that. One second, I shouldn't have opened this hand, but yeah, we can open it because we have an open hand in this one in a very long. And... Oh, the other table. I'll show you that table. And over here, let's open this. I feel in tournaments, I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is not right for cash games because in cash games, it's, everyone is super deep. But in tournaments, okay. just going to 33% it. Hey, my puppies are around. Play this hand. This is a great card for my range. I'm an early uh, opener. So I'm going to bet 50% only because if I bet too big, it will not make sense for them. Like if I bet 70% or if I bet bought or overbought right now. Perfect. So in tournaments, I have seen that especially 100 big blinds is a bit tighter and then you get looser and looser and looser. And um, and that's and it's not that you get looser. It's just that your you know your percentage of opening percentage kind of changes, and it's pretty similar. And if you know, like for example, right now I could be leaning towards 60, 60 big blind chart, or I could be leaning towards the hundred big blind chart. So it's very simple and it's very easy to understand. And once you have, you know how I learned a chart once. So I uh, I wanted to be perfect exactly perfect that I wanted my three betting uh, pre-flop three betting to be perfect so I did like a test where I tested myself later and I uh, gave myself a blank uh, chart uh, a range and I just on ICMizer started me building the ranges on my own 
and I, I gave myself 2% room for mistakes and errors. And um, the first time there was a big gap, but every time I did practice it and I did it on my own, I kept getting better and better. And uh, now I'm able to understand those ranges. But what happens is ranges also get updated if you are following some chart or you're following some uh, poker site. But you should create your own ranges because when you're sitting down on a poker table and making those decisions, if you have created your own range, they will come to you so seamlessly. Okay, thank you, poker addict. Let's go, let's go. And coming back, I hope I was able to answer your question. That is just for opening ranges. And then it's very easy to adjust and adapt in different, uh, this thing. Then there is there are ranges, like I mentioned, for flatting or three betting pre, when someone else has already opened. Over here, um, I am going to fold. And the reason being, I, I think this flop favors him much more than it favors the small blind. And once we've already bet out of, like, you know, once you've already checked, so it's it's a little weird. I don't know what happens. If we would, if we would have checked or we would have bet more, I guess. I don't know. I guess. In some, okay, in some situations and in most situations when you're playing poker, we are playing versus strangers. We are playing versus people we don't know. You wouldn't believe it. Um, I'm actually so tempted to call this hand here, um, but or three bed pre. Mm, let me show you the other hand table also. Close. Mm. Let me show you. Yeah, this is now the table I want to show you. On the other hand, I folded and the flop was 10 high actually. And they see bet and now we have ace jack in the other hand. But we have ace queen here. I think I would like to wait. First I'm just gonna flat my ace jack in the other hand versus an open. Sorry about that disturbance. Those are just chairs moving. On the floor above me. I'm actually playing one more hand. That's why I'm quiet because I'm on the other table. Let me show you. I have, I have to always like do this too. Wait. Yeah. So this is happening over here. This guy just opened and we flatted. And on the other hand, I have ace queen, right? I'm just going to flat versus a, a under the gun raise. Oh my god, what's happening here? I made a mistake. Or oh, did I? No, actually, we didn't make a mistake. This person looks like very, very aggressive, but we shouldn't have given this free check right now. Yeah, I'm going to fold this. This is a bit risky. Now I'm going to show you what's happening in the other one. How do I? One second. Yeah. So. Thank you, thank you, Aaron. I'm just going to fold this. Look at this, they're wee pip also. They're, they've been playing very straight forward, so for that reason. And then there are ranges for squeezing, there are ranges for three bedding, there are ranges for blind versus blind. And like I said, they're all divided in different stack sizes. And once you have made them yourself and you on a blank piece of range when you are going to create your, construct your own ranges, actually that could have been an open because um, Wait, let me show you the other hand, other table. This one, this king six, 
uh, could have been an open actually, but a loose one, but acceptable kind of at least by most aggressive pros. Oh, hi, Gautam. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me how to bluff. I feel so scared when I try to bluff. Everyone calls me. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. This question is also cued. There's another question that I have to answer. Wait, if I have the pictures here of the screenshots. Firstly, there was one more question of how to get, how much bankroll do you need to get started? Like I said, you can even start for free, right? Uh, just start playing free, uh, free tournaments. Um, you know, there are a lot of free roles. So I, when I was playing uh, Play Money, I was playing on Play Money sites. But you have the opportunity to play free roles on real money sites. So in that case, if you actually win, you're going to win money. Uh, and that goes straight to your bankroll. And that is a great way to get started. In fact, there is a, a story of a poker player of in, a, in the Indian fraternity who basically just a new site had opened and they had announced a big free roll uh, on the inauguration and he ended up winning it. And since then, he was just winning, winning, winning and he never ever deposited on that site. I'm calling this hand just to set mine because I'm up against uh, the EP. And uh, this this board obviously does not favor us. And on the other other table, nothing is really going on. So, so free rolls is a great way to get started in poker. And secondly, you, even if you have 100 rupees, right? No matter how much money you have, the funds could be anything. It could be 10,000, 20,000, or it could be like, something like 5,000, 3,000, 2,000. It could maybe go bigger, higher. All these things you can decide because it has to be your disposable income. So according to your disposable income, you will be like, okay, out of my disposable income, how much can I set aside for poker? You're not going to put all your disposable income into any one thing, okay? So, I mean, if you are, that's the first rule of bankroll management because even bankroll management doesn't want you to not have reloads to not be able to put a shot again into your poker career if the first shot did not work out. So out of that disposable income, you can create a strategy from that money where you know that, okay, I will play tournaments, buy-ins, where I should have 100 buy-ins at least, you know. And same goes for cash games, I think. Um, uh, in cash games, don't sit on... Um, actually, I, I'm not too sure so I'm, because I don't have an ex, my, any expertise on that. So I will stay uh, away from that and I will have other team pros comment on that in some other stream. I'll just show you the other table one second. So yeah, for tournaments, I, I would just suggest that, you know, uh, go slow go because over time you're going to acquire skills. And you want more funds when you have more skills. So give it time and it'll be all good. John Smith. <laughs> oh, funny. Thank you. And now it is Gotham's turn. Now his question will be answered. How to bluff? Okay. Firstly, I also asked, um, I asked Nippon Java, who is right now, if you see in GPI rankings and all that, you will see that he's this American Indian origin player who is uh, playing poker professionally since a while. And somehow, in fact, in a very short period of time, he got very good. People call it heater when someone does well in one, two years, but it's really being in form. It's just like in other sports, like cricket and other sports, like if when you're working hard, you will have such extra results, extraordinary results that people will call that a heater. So he's also had one of those, right? That two, three years, he's just crushing everything. And even now, when he plays big tournaments, he was always, like he holds his own, like, and I'm, I'm surprised that, you know, in such high buy-in tournaments, how is he able to just put 
his tournament life on the line and do these kind of things, right? Oh shit, I shouldn't have auto folded. We actually could have opened that hand. So I, I'm so surprised how did he, how does he manage that? So I asked him, I said, please tell me. So he said that you have to sort be very clear about one thing that um, and it is something that it's it's one of my major major uh, uh, things that I abide by uh, you have to separate your thoughts from actions on the poker table so if you have learned something when you know that a board does not associate is not interacting that well with your opponent's range and you're certain of that then you are supposed to take that shot. You are supposed to pull the trigger. And if you involve your emotions that time and you feel that jittery, so that just means that you have something in your mind that's blocking you. So you have to address these issues in that manner and you have to separate your thoughts uh, of, oh, I'm going to bust. I'm close, so close to the money. How can I take this shot? All those things. Don't let your mind go off track. So when you start doing that, you will start making beautiful bluffs and you will start making uh, beautiful folds because you're going to have such a clear thought process that you will not get emotional. You will never ever tilt. You will not have any association with your uh, results on the table or anything that's happening around you. And I would like to compliment Ash Grover on this also because out of all the players... Um, who I, you know, if I would have to give an award, you know, best mindset award, I would give it to Ash, mindset award while playing award. I would give it to Ash Grover. I'll tell you how. And I would, I, I know I'm being biased here because he was tested in that situation and I uh, happened to see something. So, one second. Again, I'm about to miss the chat. Dow boy, thank you. Okay, what makes a good poker player? I haven't received 100 messages today. Um, GG poker guy, I know him. He's an amazing guy. Okay, one second. Ah, we screen first now. So much going on, guys. Let's play this hand now. Great flop for us, but I'm going to check that. I hate this turn, by the way. Not the best. Doesn't interact that well with our range. But uh, I'm just going to hit this. Yeah, I mean, I should have bet before only, but could have been tricky if we were, you know, re-raised in any spot. So, that's that. So, yeah, I was talking about uh, Ash Kova being in a situation which I'd seen where this guy, he's known for banter on the table and he's known for getting under people's skin. And he would say very mean things. And every poker table in the room is complaining to the floor manager that, can you do something about this guy? Can you uh, ban him? Can you get him out? And uh, he went to the extent of uh, going to uh, Arsh. So Arsh I didn't carry his headphones that day. Okay, He's like, I always carry, I love music. But that day he didn't carry. So he borrowed headphones from me. And he pretended to, or he was actually listening to music. And then uh, that guy came and took off his headphones. And he's like, I'm talking to you, bro. And even then, Ash was so calm and composed, whereas I know that, you know, like in this kind of situation, it's so hard to keep your cool and you don't know what you, what you what's going to happen, right? And the way he reacted, it was that other players had to get involved because he was so cool and calm about it. So that is something that I believe that he also practices a lot on his mindset and he's been doing that. He works with a lot of coaches and that's, that's why you must have seen that he is also able to make a lot of bluffs. He's also able to do a lot of you know, those kind of fancy plays which, you know, other people would think that, okay, how is he able to do it or why is he doing it or 
you know, uh, you know, you would not understand how he's thinking because he's not associating, um, you know, his his thought process is so different and on another level. So there are so many players, poker players like that who are there, and and there are so many even uh, Abhinav Iyer or uh, a God of Sood, Shri Harsha. Um, you know, there are so many players uh, from the earlier generation also who have always shown such a cool and calm composure and the younger guys now, they are so good at everything. So, you know, uh, I always run out of names when they ask me who's your favorite poker player. But yeah, this is the truth. There are so many uh, good examples out here and we should only learn from them. Uh, 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 uh. What makes a good poker player? This makes a good poker player if you are able to control your emotions because this is a game of mind. It's a mind sport. Okay. Over here on this monotone board. By the way, I'm playing. I have queen six again on the other table and I have diamonds there. <laughs> um, okay. Let's just bet here. And now again, lost all the chat. Where's the chat? After this hand. Small hand. We're going to keep his bluffs in if otherwise it's yeah any which way okay one second i'm going to find the chart because then i can answer what happened i lost it what i did wait guys you will have to say everything again. <laughs> Luckily, I found Addy's link that he had opened. Oh, now I'm going to get new messages. Hello, ma'am. India say ka, 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 ka. Hello, ma'am. India ko worldwide up con represent kar sakta hai. Already kar rahe hai. Itte sare poker players are representing India. And aapko pata nahi hai. They are always traveling. They are playing the biggest of tournaments. And bhoat jaldi like aapko news aai ki. And word news will, it's not going to be, you know, it's see winning and losing. It, it does not matter to anybody. It's our own journey, right? How you will keep, treat yourself after you win or lose, that is something very important, right? So when those waves start coming in and poker players are if all, it's like at least a bunch of poker players are doing well here and there, I think there will be a big noise and there will be a lot of fun. And I wish those poker players can then come back and help younger poker players by giving them some sort of a system where you know, they have an opportunity to play tournaments as well. Hi, Dhanraj. Thank you, Bhavya, for your question. Mm -hmm. Aryan says, AK all in. Bilkul thik bola. <laughs> How to play Ace King or strong pocket pair? Like I said, humne jaise abhi, uh, we spoke about ranges, right? So, it, this question is so different in a lot of stages, but Strong pocket pair and aces usually um, have a way, you know, in some situations at least, like, you know, you the, in a lot of situations you have to three bet them, in a lot of situations you don't. At least when you have small stack, I think that the trapping kar sakte ho. And when you have a big stack, that time you can, you know, play around depending on the positions. So that's how you play pocket pairs. And um, there is... So what happens is, like you are, imagine you are playing the biggest tournament of your life, and you have ace king, and you have four bet kiya kisi ko, and now they have five bet all in kar diya, and your 
जो उस टाइम डिसीजन होगा दैट विल हैपन दैट विल डिपेंड ऑन योर स्टैक साइज सो इफ यू आर रियली डीप सुपर डीप हो सकता है कि आप उस टाइम फोल्ड कर दो बिकॉज उनकी जो फाइव बेटिंग रेंज है उस टाइम उसमें ए स्किंग है नहीं है डिपेंडिंग ऑन देयर स्टैक साइज उनके प्लेयर प्रोफाइल आपको वो जज करके यू हैव टू डिसाइड वेदर आपके पास कितने चिप्स बीच में कितने चिप्स हैं पॉट साइज क्या है एंड हाउ मेनी चिप्स हैव यू आर यू लेफ्ट बिहाइंड एंड आपके ओपोनेंट का फोल्ड परसेंटेज क्या है इफ यू गो ऑल इन सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन दो सिचुएशन यू कैन मेक अ फोल्ड है बट इफ यू हैव अ शॉर्ट स्टैक यू विल नॉट फोल्ड एस किंग इवन इफ यू अप अगेंस्ट अ बिग पॉकेट पे इफ इट्स यू इफ यू अप अगेंस्ट एस एस जी जी बट इफ यू अप अगेंस्ट एस किंग सॉरी अदर हैंड्स लाइक इवन किंग्स क्वींस एंड Uh, you are doing well, and if you are in the other situation where you have these hands and other person has his king, you still can do well, right? So it's that that thing. John Smiths. <laughs> I don't think so. Me too. Me lagra tha ki uh, you know maybe he is uh, uh, you know why would he? Maybe because I have done a lot of research on mindset, right? So me me ko to I got impressed. by what he did uh making 30 lakhs a month uh, a good goal to have in poker it's a it's a very decent goal to have in poker yaar uh if you see a lot of <laughs> jobs uh, such high paying jobs and not that high but also starting jobs um they are around those packages are around 25 to 30 lakhs in one year so if you are able to make that in one month wow and and you know uh, oh we have aces in the other hand and everyone's gone all in so i'm just going to flat call wait wait how do i show it to you <laughs> okay like take go this is how you play ace king this is how you play jacks and this is how you play aces <laughs> when this when this thing happens now you should be so detached with the result because you did what you have to do so if you are in that in their position you should just be like gg good game you know because one day you'll be in that spot so you should respect every player is playing their position stack sizes so you're going to respect that uh you know for example i played If you are playing tournaments which are one k, two k binds, right? Um, one second. It really depends. There is no hard and fast rule. I can't tell you that you need to have hundred big blinds or you a uh, hundred uh, binds or you need to have this many binds. It really depends on what your win rate is versus that field that you want to play. In. Again, I'm stuck with this player, and the VPIP is always showing less. That confuses me. Hi. Hi, Empire. Hi. Yeah. So, if you are playing one k, two k tournaments, I think um, see see the field sizes that you're playing. See the uh, uh, select the tournaments that you really want to play. Make a log, make an Excel sheet, and you start you know seeing your profit losses. And I think what you can start doing is um, play extremely small tournaments and play at least two three hundred of them. Okay. very small tournaments which are getting uh, over also very quick uh, and then just study because uh, and then study those uh, situations i'm going to fold here 18 big blinds is too much to call this hand and uh, oh i didn't show you but i had king king eight suited from the button i opened and i got jammed by the big blind uh, with 18 bigs and i just folded and then he threw a, a Very cute emoji on me.
when I spoke about it all going to happen in Goa very soon I think not that soon also because they have bigger plans for you they have more exciting plans for you um, so maybe those are on the line right now in the very near future but in the coming future definitely there will be some live, live tournaments and very prestigious ones something we'll all look forward to as a community so that is the thing Sorry, I'm getting distracted by my puppies and all these hands around me. But yeah, I'm actually so excited after witnessing GOAT. I'm just thinking what's going to what's gonna happen next. Like how big of a uh, first place uh, we can, you know, award to a player and, you know, how life ch changing it can get and, and imagine if this becomes the case then I think all the poker players are going to ship to India <laughs> they will say that forget everything else um, let's play from India Agent 69 uh, thank you so much I feel like you are a close friend of mine that's why you're saying this and you're just being sweet and kind any which way thank you so much um, and i'm just i'm able to do all of this thanks to uh, my team especially people like uh, aditya vadwani our team pro sanjay sir gautam all these people in my team mania in the pr team and people again in the back end everyone who's you know, working quietly on this. There are so many other people also, Laksh, uh, people who are working on this whole project, right? All of these people, they make your job so simple that when I come here, I am already very relaxed. Uh, even though streaming can be stressful because you're live and uh, I'm not scared of doing anything funny, but I am... You know, like in general, uh, when I started streaming in the uh, earlier days, I had a lot of technical glitches because of which my stream had to be shut midway and I was not able to be consistent. And I I don't like that feeling of not being able to be consistent. I like to go all in in whatever I do. So now that, you know, these guys are there to help me, it becomes very seamless. You're able to explain the game. At the same time, you're able to play also. And for me, playing now comes, I, 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 it comes very naturally, I would say, you know. And uh, earlier, I used to play all the time with a different motive, which is, okay, I have to win this much, I have to do this, I have to do that. Now, I, I play because it's my mental need, my mind needs it. So that is also there. And uh, I have set bankroll, uh, ro like, you know, goals for myself because I would like to put myself in that situation once again. I've done that pressure situation with me, myself before where I put myself in uh, those pressure points and I've expected very, very high results from myself. So I'm going to do that again in the coming year. And it's going to be exciting because I think a lot. Of, I have help of a lot of poker players around me. And while doing poker school for, uh, you know, upcoming poker players that time also, uh, you're obviously brushing just your really, really basic fundamentals. And then you're seeing even the other advanced stuff and you're writing the advanced stuff. So you you yourself realize that, okay, I've come far. So if, if uh, this is all the knowledge and now let's use it and turn it into intuition and use it on the tables. So that's how it gets. Ah, 25 days <laughs> money double. Those are good goals to have. I know so many poker players who start their challenges and they have not finished Okay, I'm going to change the table also now. We have 70 big blinds in that one, but I, I've dropped some this thing. So also, now... You know, even if you have 20 big blinds or you have 100 big blinds, does not matter. It's not good or bad. It's just you need to know that because you're going to adjust your ranges according to that. And you can play poker in two ways. You can play poker 
that okay i want extra income right so i'm making this much money from my salary or i'm working somewhere here and now i want to make this as my extra income one more like source of revenue so that time you have to put yourself in a very good structure where you will profit and if you don't profit you should know that it's okay you can come back and the other way is where you are playing to satisfy your uh, competitiveness sportsmanship and you want to get better than yourself like the player that you were yesterday so just want to do that i'll show you quickly on this other table i am going to fold this hand oh, i love a five six suited not that much but yeah i do four five suited i fold it there some high roller uh, plo tournaments of course i shall convey this message to them and then let's see what happens and i'm sure everything that is designed for you guys is designed by top level players so they know exactly what is good for you and don't worry about that uh, that's how they make the structure Bazi is adding so many tournaments here. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it will be no surprise if they have PLO tournaments because even the um, the head of poker Bazi, Navi, <laughs> Navkir, loves PLO. So I think this this request might get passed easily. Okay, you know, agar. साइड के ओनर्स को ही पीएलओ इतना पसंद है तो बट आई डोंट प्ले पीएलओ बिकॉज आई हैवन स्टार्टेड पीएलओ बट आई एम श्योर दैट इट्स अ गुड गेम एंड डेफिनेटली इट्स मोर फन डेफिनेटली इट्स गॉट मच मोर वेरिएंट्स व्हिच मींस देयर इज मोर रूम टू मेक मोर मनी एंड द टेबल्स आर गोइंग टू बी जूसी बट आल्सो यू हैव टू बी प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर वेरी बिग बीट्स लाइक Uh, apparently, PLO players are also very, very aggressive in hold'em because I think that's how it turns into because you're not able to shift those gears, but you can actually. It's a lot of fun. Uh, PLO is everyone's favorite. It's uh, hold'em PLO, and then I feel if you do five card, that's crazy. I've even seen people make their own variations where they say, "Okay, everyone discard one, and now that will be the flop. Like they're going to shuffle it, and now the cards are going to. So, say if you have three sixes, you're going to discard one six, knowing, hoping that one six will be opened on the flop. So you have to understand for yourself. Wait, I'll show you some other hand. So you have to understand for yourself what's good for you and what's bad for you. You know, you have to make uh, a game selection has to be in that order." Hi, I have strats. आप ऐसे countries, बाकी countries के बारे में हम ऐसे बात तो कर ही रहे हैं. But poker के बारे में अभी focus करना बहुत ज़्यादा important है. And I wonder अगर वहाँ पे भी लोग poker खेलते हैं, it'll be good to know. But I know that हमारे सारे नेबरिंग कंट्रीज में डेफिनेटली सब पोकर खेलते हैं एंड वर्ल्ड सीज ऑफ पोकर इज इन सेन वहां पे ऑल्सो लाइक एवरी कंट्री इज पार्टिसिपेटिंग राइट सो वहां पे आई थिंक समवन डिड अकाउंट एंड इट वाज इट वाज टू मेनी कंट्री ऑलमोस्ट एवरी कंट्री एक्सेप्ट अ फ्यू ऑब्वियसली विद द ऑब्वियस वंस But yeah, and then some countries, you know, what happens is their travel is banned, their flights are stopped. But any kya, ho ta rehta hai. So that also happens. Oh, 
Addy, if you're still watching, we have to do something about adding music to the stream now. So I was saying something a few minutes back. I was saying that if you're not playing for a few months and you come back, you forget who's who. But I know this player, Bullseye. That is Siddharth Kapoor. He's an actor and a music uh, producer. Yeah, he produces his own music. He's made a lot of tracks. And he loves poker. And his family also knows about him loving poker. And everyone in that Bollywood circle knows that he loves poker. So, in fact, he should leak some secrets and tell us which other Bollywood actors play poker. Because it will help poker, right? Then we can tell others also. That look. And I think... I think I personally also know... You know, CEOs some of some very big companies who play poker and they host tournaments in their offices. So... I wish they were all those results were online somewhere for us to see, like how Howard Poker Club publishes their results. MIT Poker Club publishes our next tournament is here. Similarly, I think right now in um, at, uh, in one of the to uh, colleges in IMT Ghaziabad, uh, they had a poker tournament. So, you know, I wish that all those things happen more. This I'm opening. Also, I'll show you the other table. I don't know where I put here. Let's just, just go once to hit the lucky, the cutter. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't expect this. I thought I'm going to be facing uh, some three bets. And if I have missed out any poker player's name while praising the finest of the finest, I'm sorry. I will name you in my other stream. Because <laughs> there's so many worth mentioning and applauding. If you are here, so say hi to me in the chat, so then I will remember you. <laughs> okay, chat, tell me... Um... Tell me something exciting about poker. What is it that you can tell me? Hmm. I will have to ask a very quantitative question. Um... Tell me, which poker tournament telecast? live telecast did you enjoy watching the most you know how fifa's world cup was just like a fairy tale the this uh, argentina versus france how exciting it was till the last minute which tournament did you find nail biting tell me and i have a question how was your shark cage experience it was amazing. It was super exciting. And how I felt that time, I mean, it's hard to explain, no? And I remember going to the bathroom, uh, into the restroom, uh, when I was heads up and screaming and shouting because I was so excited. So it was one of those best days. And I had most fun bluffing Timex. That was fun. 
because he's such a scary player and I really didn't know what I was doing. I just knew that just I have to. Out of context, to see Punjabi. Yes, I see Punjabi. I see Indian. <laughs> Punjabi Kuri. Uh, I don't have relatives in Punjab because we have always been Delhi based. So I'm actually a proper, proper, proper Delhiite. Uh, 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 on the other table, I'm playing a hand, that's why I'm getting a little confused. I know his stack is and I have to go to I have queens here. We need a double up. Rehab double seven is tower. So, did I play a hand with him or what? No. Okay, yeah, he's on our table. Tower. Tower should watch our streams and come and say hi and do some cross contract promotion. <laughs> Uh, please talk about your Vietnam poker trip. Actually, Vietnam was not a poker trip. It was a, a family trip. I saw Vietnam for the first time in my life and I'm so surprised that I have not been there before. It was so much fun. And for food-wise, it was not fun for me because I was missing... I, I really enjoyed the Indian food there. And it took time for me to adjust to the food there. At no clock. Okay, good. So that took time for me. But um, otherwise, it was fun. And I was told that there are such good tournaments and there's only 10% TDS. So we should definitely hit up that um, pace. I'm actually more excited to go there than going all the way to America and Europe to play poker. I want to go to Vietnam. Vietnam was so beautiful. And um, the best, most beautiful city. It's not actually a city, but um, what's it called? How long Bay? Okay. That was so beautiful. It was like just water and rocks and um, wow, it was, it was really something surreal and serene and very peaceful. I was, I was in love with Vietnam. And it's very chaotic in one side. One part of the city is very chaotic. One part of the city is uh, very um, uh, busy, very metro. One part of the city is very Goa. One part of the city is very uh, ethnic. So it was interesting. And imagine I say there are so many uh, places that I my, must have not seen. So I'm really looking forward to seeing other places. And I'm glad that I I was uh, I had the time to check this place out properly now before when I go for my poker trips. Because when I go for my poker trips, I will exactly know how to plan it. In the end of the trip, I will plan some beautiful destinations as well. And there are a lot of shrines. It was beautiful. They have temples and they have... Uh, some of the food was really yummy. Oh my God, fruits were really yummy. Mango was very good. Um, and uh, shopping was very good. It was uh, shopping will surprise you. The street shops. Just fired up four tables on MTT poker. Thanks to you. Let's go. And we have kings here. Let's open them. Let's go. Show bit. Good luck. Um, you know, just suppose I want to add 50k to my poker bazi account. How much buy in tournament suits me to play from your point of view? Yeah, of course, you you would want to go for something in the range of 500 under 1k if you really want to really make this count and last and trust me you will start seeing results yourself right you'll start seeing once you make a very less trap double okay and bullseye with our kings <laughs> these boys ain't getting trapped and dhawal must have hit something now this is totally this board has dhawal written on it and he's sitting on the big bag I love Triton poker streams. Watching best players in the world play for huge prices and production quality is awesome. I agree with you. Triton is so much fun. And even a lot of shows on Poker Go are so good. Oh my god. What is this? Are we going to double up? Rehab, double seven. Double Mudgal. Oof. 
Are we going to pay him? Before we pay him, let's. <laughs> this is such a bad card for us, yeah. Oh my God, what do I do? We have to call, we'll call. This is a great boat for him to bluff also. Ugh, what is this, yeah? Let's go. Okay. I hate it when it happens versus someone you know, you know. When it's versus random players, it's... Okay, you have a quantitative approach and you go for it. But when you know that there's a good player there, then you feel that, okay, they are definitely playing a meta game with you. And not just playing the meta game, they're supposed to. They're supposed to take these spots. They're supposed to... Um, let's see what he wrote. Hope it's not too bad. <laughs> He's saying no bluff ever. <laughs> so, yeah, even if he... He's supposed to take advantage of that board. I had to pay him. Yeah, I care. Like, how, how do we fall there? You know, we, would, we are very curious. You want to see Thawar. I was supposed to start Emily in Paris. And here I'm punting chips. Emily in Paris. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool show. I enjoyed the season one, but then I got over it. When I was younger, I really enjoyed Gossip Girl. I think I just passed 12th. I was in 12th that time. Oh my God, I really enjoyed it. But then today I want to talk less about fun stuff and talk more about book. Hi! Agiras is here. He's also someone we know for such a long time. You guys have to give me one minute. I need to connect my charger. Oh. Mm. I'm sad about Kings because I know Double would have anyway taken that spot, even if he didn't have anything. So that is disappointing. Mr. Mudgal, a bullseye. Let's watch this hand. Wait, can you guys see it? Yeah, you can see it now. So Bullseye is opening 12 big blinds, almost 13. I want to... Uh, yeah, okay, one second. Even I went to Hanoi. I was in the city, Hanoi city. Hi, Nikhil. I went to Hanoi City. It was so beautiful. This is what we were just talking about. And Bullseye shows pocket fours. Yeah, so, yeah. and uh, But I found, uh, yeah, obviously that is just a, a place you would just visit and come back. But yeah, I also found uh, a, ha a How Long Bay very beautiful. And I've heard that I haven't even been to the best one. Uh, Ho Chi Minh, I think, is the best one where a lot of poker players have been going as well. Um, so maybe that is a better one. And then there's one more place where you can play poker. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm excited. Next year, I'm going to go. 2023, I'm going to plan so many trips. I'm excited. Some poker trips. And uh, and let's watch Dhawal play this hand. He has just gotten a three bet in the cutoff. He's got 40, he had 46 big blinds before he started. Fair enough. He also probably knows Ritwik. Ritwik is a known player. And let's see if you want to see his stats. That's fair. That was not so good. I, I've heard in India also there are a lot, there is, apart from Goa also, there was one city in East. Um, I want to go there, Sikkim, Gantok, maybe. Yeah, I think that is also one place that poker players should go. Why not? It will support the, uh, the industry there. I'm sure it's, it's just a starting thing there, you know. Book is just starting out there. So that could be an interesting one. I mean, I should have just folded, but I didn't want to. I should have just jammed on Bullseye. Uh, 
What did I do? I misclicked. <laughs> This is the most retarded hand I'm, I'm going to play. I wanted to jam and I just been raised into this. Oh my God, I don't believe this. I called it with him being so short. I shouldn't have called this hand. I thought I was playing blind on blind. And if I was playing blind on blind, I was supposed to jump. Oh my god, mistake on mistakes on so many levels. Now we have picked up some outs. We have some flush draw outs. I'm gonna check this. Check this because we wanna keep the pot small in case we have to pay a price to see the river. And if we do hit the river, then there are two cases. Either we can bet big right now or we should check. Because if you bet big and he calls. See, I'm stuck in this hand for no reason. In front of everyone. Not you guys, but the table. Now they'll all see. I'll have to write misclick. <laughs> misclick all the way. Feel like you save money only by checking flop. Yeah. Definitely. And especially multi-way. We can check that flop. Oh, what did he say? Okay, guys, I'm going on break right now. See you in four minutes.
Hi, I'm back. Let me check my mic. Everything's working, yeah. So, Dhaval was right. That flop uh, was a great check for us, if we check there. Hmm. Because then we, anyway, have to keep calling. And we then don't have to call 10 big blinds on the river. Like, who said that? Women thinks. <laughs> uh, Korta Vines. Yeah. So, Mr. Vines. Like I said, versus players you know, you can somehow... Give them that credit and think, okay, maybe they're bluffing. Because they don't expect you to have anything connecting that board. You know, that's the whole scene there. Okay. I'm going to, even though Bullseye is behind us, I'm going to jam this. Because on our under 20 big blinds, uh, this is going to be our range. Uh, other table, nothing is happening. Oh, he had king queen. Nice. See, he has to open all these hands, and then I don't think if he has to call. I don't know. Maybe he does. Uh, don't know, Mister Vines. Don't know. Mm -hmm. Let me show the other table. Oh, in the other table, bullseye is all in. But that doesn't matter because right now it's all rebuy, no? So... the table uh. Akshat Pandey, I have no idea what you're saying. Please specify. And if there are any women poker players in the chat, please say hi. Uh, we were gonna call about. We also have let's do the street which we missed. And we can fold this down. Check fold. And I'll be the other hand. Okay, yeah, that because it's not suited, I don't think I'm gonna hmm. Sixty-eight eggs. Wait, I have missed a few things. 
I'm going to fold. I've already folded that hand. Sorry, guys. I'm going to miss the chat for a bit. And what other... Someone just told me one poker tournament they liked. Um, Triton. What other tournaments did you enjoy? Which live stream did you watch and you were like, wow, I that was just beautiful. Which live stream did you? Poker live stream. Did you enjoy watching? It could have been a re rerun, obviously, but some any poker tournament, live tournament, that's telecast. Thank you, Pavan. Thank you so much, Meena, Manish. Do I fold this? Uh, we folded this hand. Obviously folding. Queen loose. Don't worry, I didn't. Let's click again. <laughs> oh, we missed it. Misclicked that hand so bad. I was shifting something and I just pressed the wrong button. I usually never do that, but I am using too many gadgets here today. And there are too many wires and there's so much going on and I have to keep changing tables and I'm messing up. Mm, action. <laughs> Oh, that was such a tease. Gonna open this. I quickly checked if there was anyone with a stack under, you know, 15 big blinds around. This guy's very short. We don't mind calling him. But if someone else was shorter. I have a suited king in there also. Okay, now we just have to flip for two more big blinds and we have overs and it doesn't matter. This is a small hand. And over here, oh, we had to fold. We folded a suited king here also. Thank you, thank you, players. Good luck to you also. Oh, is someone saying something? What is Rehab saying? Oh, Web is watching our stream. <laughs> thank you he's like no problem i believe you again me versus double round two dun, dun, dun. now let's see a middle pair versus double and on a monotone board that we do not connect with oh why is life so difficult it's easy now he just checked and now we can happily bet Now he's going to show us aces and all and say, oh, you should have, you should have checked that turn. <laughs> no, but he is a very good player and I always listen to his advice. And he's someone who's constantly working on his game and loves the game. Like, he has a lot of passion. And let's see who else is on the table, you know. I will take also. <laughs> I think these two are playing cash game with each other. He's uh, telling him to rebuy, but that is none of our business. And uh, uh, I think we can just flat this one here. There are there are merits of three betting free, but we're gonna flat this with a thirty-five big blind stack. 
and I'm going to fold. My God, this should have been, you should have somehow been in this spot right now. Uh, on the other table, other table, if you want to see. Akshat Mehta, Hustler. Hi, hi, Akshat Mehta. Now we've been hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Poker is such a, a lovely universal language we all speak, huh? And I love how it um, unites us. Have you ever been disregarded in your career in this male-dominated field? I think um, if you want to uh, talk about anything, I, I, you know, you can come up with so many examples. And But personally, I have never been disregarded by at least the men in the poker industry. It's only been people from outside the industry where they do not respect uh you know what you do and they uh, they start an argument with you or they question um a poker in general you know they have that sort of a mentality and it's bad because they are definitely few years ahead few years behind many years behind and we guys are a few years ahead maybe right so that is something that I've faced uh, from outside community people where they totally, totally don't understand or respect even male poker players that, oh, you, this is what you do for a living and they don't understand what professionals can be or they don't understand if poker can be played as a um, hobby also, you know, they don't understand that. That has happened and uh, a lot of times players do try to get under your skin where uh, your your own uh, peers and friends, you know. Uh, some players don't, like good friends don't. Uh, but people will, with strong personalities who play that game of getting in each other's mindset, they can just try and say something to you. So in those situations, you can always be very strong and, and always know that you deserve a seat on the table no matter who you are, even if you are the worst player in the country. You deserve a poker seat and you have a spot, right? So, and you're always improving in poker. So, don't ever let anyone say anything to you. If that is why you asked me this question. Okay, one second. Um, have you, is it important to focus on profit to cash percentage? Volume beat variance. I think you should ask this question uh, to uh, Abhishek Gondi again if you ever catch him on the stream because he works with a lot of players and he works with these uh, he has that framework for you to judge your performance and uh, give you the right percentage that you should you need so that's why you what you could do is maybe start fresh play a couple of tournaments and your, oh wait, I'll just show you what happened on the other table. We got a small double up. Um, and then take out the percentage of that and see what your profit percentage was, how much you cashed, and why are you cashing uh, so much but not shipping? How much are you shipping? How many times are you coming in top three? You know, those stats are going to be important. And if you know, once you're cognizant of your skill set, then you choose games accordingly. Mm -hmm. Mio has another question. Uh, no, Mio, you are supposed to put limits on your rebuy. Please don't go uh, have that kind of a mindset that I'm going to... One second. So you can uh, see if you... That's why I'm saying the smaller tournaments you'll play, you can have that auto rebuy button on. If you play 400... You are talking about 800, play start, play 400 then, play 300, play 200. So I'm giving you an example. The smaller you'll play, the uh, the more uh, you'll be able to play. And then if you think now I'm ready, I like this game, I like um, 
I like, you know, this uh, format. Let's say this is my forte and then you can actually take a bigger shot in that that time. And that's when you can spread your wings. How do you assess players based stats you see on Pokabazi HUD? Hi, Pavan. I'm going to answer this question quickly. Let me fold this. So you can see that I'm clicking over here. And you can see VPIP, that means voluntary uh, player, the, the money that they put in the pot. Okay. Now, this means that 26% out of 100, we are like, you're going to understand that this is a standard uh, stat. But if someone has, there was a player here with 40 something. So that person you would think is fairly aggressive. These are very normal stats. These are not something that frisky 32 okay fine on a bigger side so now this you will realize how much a person is opening how much is he putting in the pot like three betting you know uh when just calling pre-flop a lot he's uh range his ranges you can then uh expect to be really wide and uh a pre-flop uh razor one second oops sorry Wait, I'll tell you the important ones. This is the three betting one. And this is, I think, a uh, pre-flop raise percentage. And this is three betting. Uh, how much do they three bet? They three bet. I'm three betting only three. I've done only 3% three bet here. So it's quite less. This should be there. C bet. How many times are we C betting? 20%. Now let's make this compare it to anybody here. For example, they are three betting 2%. Doesn't matter. Uh, this is table wise table uh, stats so you're able to tell these things how much money they are putting in the pot how much are they raising pre-flop or you know uh, doing all that and then that are you aware of the rake and turbo table nonsense uh, good luck thank you Saurabh smash my ace I do not have uh, no idea about what you're seeing um how is your charity doing great work for thank you thank you thank you Saurabh uh, uh, smash uh, my aids I think you should uh, send an email to uh, the um, back end and I will make sure that whatever your issues are in fact you can come over to the office and discuss it with the site they would really like your input and would understand uh, your uh, you know concern and um, if you're making a loss one second one second I need a minute Uh, in this situation, I'm just going to fold this, even though it's just one week nine. <laughs> oh, you guys are not seeing my other table. Look, I'm such a joker. Oh, now let's see what. Okay. Not able to change only. Wow. I've got this. Come on, Ritwik. Actually, I shouldn't say all these things on the stream. We never know. A lot of people are sometimes just trapping me. Let's just go all in, yeah. Because anyway, I was going to bet 20 something and just take him all in this one. Or bet small. 
but I prefer betting a big here and just creating that illusion that it's you know a polarized situation. So then, in those situations, they are more willing to call off, even with marginal hands. Whereas a good bet, a small decent bet, it gets away. We're getting our stack back in this one after giving a little chunk to rehab here. And on the other table also we have 30 big blinds. But it's going good. Oh, and the time has come to end the stream also very soon. I think by the next break. So if you have any other questions, please, please let me know. Or just catch us tomorrow. Tomorrow there will be Laksh. Uh, Paul saying um, he's going to be streaming. And he's he's again one of my great um, uh, poker players who I look up to. And he's a lot of fun. Very intellectual. And if you didn't know, he topped uh, Delhi in, uh, in his 12th board exams. His picture came in newspapers. And they were like, okay, this guy came first in... The whole of Delhi, can you imagine? So how smart he is. So imagine players like that are coming to poker. How interesting that is. And this is something we should be proud about. And I take a lot of pride in it. I keep reminding him this because it's something he should not forget. You know. Mohammed Zishan, but Abhishek told me differently. <laughs> he told me otherwise, and obviously, when you win a tournament, he plays so well, right? Then obviously, you will say. Uh, uh, next break is when I will shift to a bigger setup and then I can play around say without having to switch all tables even though I really like coming out and streaming for you guys but and this is something I'm testing myself if the gameplay gets affected or not I'm actually playing not just this table, even the other table I'm playing. I think I'm going to check this turn because of a lot of reasons. I want to keep the pot small. And I'm sorry if I'm not able to explain my thought process here. Um, we shall have a different session for hand histories. And I want to say something. If you are going to do things, firstly, in, it's not a course that everyone's reading the same books. Everyone's being taught different things, right? There are a lot of things you're going to learn yourself along the way when you get better and better in the game. Um, and something you're going to learn. I am definitely just psych all here. And you have to surprise your opponents. Uh, you have to do unconventional things. You have to do things that they do not expect. And the minute you go off track, they do not know what to do. So remember that. And do not be a bot who is just following uh, the charts, just following what other people do, who does not have his own play style, who does not have his own, uh, you know, decision uh you know, decision making skills and does not know, you know, how to go about things. And poker is supposed to be fun. Poker is not supposed to 
uh, be about you played this well or you played that bad, right? Poker is supposed to be fun. Poker is supposed to enjoy. It's supposed to simulate your mind. It's supposed to uh, improve your skills that you're going to then with time get better. It's supposed to relax your mind. It's supposed to give you happiness. And uh, if you are uh, using poker to show your ego and show how better you are than other players, then um, uh, sooner or later, you're going to face better players than you who are going to discourage you and do the same with you because that's how karma is. And this hand is beautiful. Uh, I'm just going to flat here. It's already here. I don't like that card, but I can expect him to. So yeah, don't use poker to, you know, take out your high school issues. Uh, use poker to get better and improve and uh, make friends, uh, meet new people, understand how life works, understand that, you know, life is not just about one hand. Uh, think bigger, think out of the box and uh, respect every play. And if you think people are playing worse than you, don't correct them and be happy about it and make your money. Hi, honey. Okay, do you use any meditation app? Acha, you want to know my meditation secret, huh? I am not giving you a meditation secret. But honestly, there was this one app, but then they started charging too much. Um, Headspace, I think. So that was very good, simple explanation of how to get started. And if you need poker-centric meditation ones, then you can uh, download Primed Mind by Elliot Rowe. And honey, I'll give you a quick tip before I go. It's on meditation. So don't associate your thoughts with yourself. Your thoughts are just passing clouds. If they are supposed to come, you are supposed to think negative or positive, or you know, you are supposed to be analytic. You're supposed to make those kind of, um, uh, you're supposed to have a, a messy thought process, right? And thoughts come to us. Uh, and you just have to disassociate, your, uh, disassociate and let them just flow by you and acknowledge that yes there is a lot of thoughts that are coming in my mind especially right now when I'm trying to keep it still and let it go and then sooner or later you are going to learn you're going to it's it's a it's a muscle you'll have to practice it every 10 minutes every day and you'll you learn and then you get deeper and deeper into meditation and you start working with your chakras you start working with body scans you start working with a lot of things now uh, you can do body scans it's very simple just imagine your body from uh, toe to head uh, where it's you know a color and there is a temperature like there's warmth also you know taking over so I've, I am not um, an expert uh, so I would request you to go on YouTube and find the right coaches and mentors for meditation and and see what suits you I did everything and now I've created my own system that I follow that's my own routine and I, that's what works for me so I've taken the best of all uh, belief systems and made my own one we are going to just fold this On the other hand, let me show you what's happening. Yeah. So here, I'm just going to fold. Oh, we actually have...
everyone is coming to Delhi, sorry, Goa for Christmas and New Year's and I will be traveling for work in the middle. So I'm excited for that as well. And I'll be flying on Christmas. So let's see. Are there like crazy rushes on airports, guys? Is there anyone who just recently traveled would like to share? Muskan, please help me. Every time I lose all in and online poker, I get really mad inside and I get this big urge to curse out the opponent and only then I feel a little better. But this is exactly what I was talking about, right? You don't have to be that person. You have to be that person who, who respects uh, players who are even... Uh, you know, if they are less com competent than you, you should respect them, right? And if you, trust me, you know, you don't want to be the worst player on the table. You don't want everyone else to be better than you. You don't want that. And imagine if there were no bad beats that existed. Imagine if there were no variants existed in poker. Then the poker would have been like golf and chess. And you would have never had the opportunity to play your best players. Or your, you know, just have a game like that in your life. Because it would have been reserved for the best and reserved for people who are just putting their life and soul into one thing. So that's why it's important that you want, tell yourself and when you're meditating also. And um, there should be one meditation that you do for life. There should be one meditation that you do for poker. And the poker meditation should happen pre session and should happen post session sometimes when it's a very tiring day before sleeping so that time you can keep these things in mind and tell yourself and why why your brain like that Okay, we have more questions. You had a downswing and now you made your stacks perfectly. That's what the pro symbolizes here. Play it smartly. Thank you. Um, you are, you're supposed to play your stack sizes and they're going to keep swinging up and down, up and down. So I'm not going to get, even you should not get happy or sad along with it. The, this stack size doesn't come with any emotions. It comes with strategy. Every stack size has a strategy and you as a player should be ready to play everything from every position. And I know this is not a team sport, but when in a team sport, a player has a, a responsibility, they only focus on that and they help the team. So similarly, that applies here a little bit. I'm just going to fold this, no messing around. Um, hi, Mohit. And thank you so much forever for such a lovely, kind compliment. That is very sweet. See, there are some nice people also out there who just want to take out that effort to be nice. Like, I like those people who write a good review. Not just, they only write reviews when they have a complaint. Uh, uh, okay, moving on. I have to just fold this hand. Mohit, thank you so much. You are inspiration of others. Can you tell me who is Muskan Ma'am's inspiration for poker? so many players it's a pool I look up to different poker players for different things and different qualities that they have and this list is always changing and it always gets me into trouble so I will keep it to myself and definitely when I started off it was Phil Ivy then it was Lev Buri then it, it was um, when I started when you're playing online then you start looking at 
you know, Steven Chidwick, you see players like Phil Galfond, you see players like that. Then in like then you saw we then we had this phase when i was watching a lot of um, you know high rollers and uh, though in those high rollers also you know you would see michael adamo and some other players and it was it was so interesting to watch right so you i just learn a little from everyone and i get super impressed with uh, people who who make you know, risky and big bluffs. I get like very impressed because I, I try to get into inside their thought process and make sure that I understand the checklist that they went through. Or if I understand that even if this was not the right thing to do, say, for example, you did get called or, or something, like what are, are they mentally prepared for that and how do they prepare themselves? And, you know, what are those, tri- what, what are those factors that are needed to pull the trigger? Yay, fly with Air India for sure. Now even Tata has bought it. So I'm excited to see what he's going to do with Air India. And guys, next break is when I am going to say my goodbyes. And I'm going to be back most likely very soon. But tomorrow you have an exciting day with Lakshpal Singh. Then you're going to have Abhishek Goindi very soon. And and then he's going to win one more poker tournament for you guys. So then you can watch some more things. I have to actually watch his stream again properly and like learn. And he told me that uh, I, I was running too good. I don't believe him. I have to watch everything he played. And just, you know, I like it. I like to see. And Merry Christmas to all of you. If I don't see you uh, before. But um, I hope... You still believe in Santa. <laughs> uh, and even if you don't, you still get that, you know, gift that you deserve this Christmas. And hope it's merry. Hope it's um, it's a beautiful one. And you're with your family and friends. And you don't be a Grinch. And you're a good person, huh? You just have to be in the in the in the good list and not the naughty list. So that's what I would suggest. And happy new year to you as well. And thank you so much, John Smith. Lovely compliment there in the chat. Striking my my confidence even further. <laughs> Adi says, I'm going to do it anyway. I wish, Adi, you could at least join the chat, like voice chat. I'm talking to myself and I'm talking, talking, talking to myself, like nonstop. If you were there, it would have been a little easier, no? <laughs> all in all in i love the whole christmas theme by the way i i was waiting for the right moment to give you that compliment adi it's very very well done very very thoughtful also small small things And you know, today I almost cancelled the stream. But Addy was so calm and composed that I um, decided not to ditch him. And I thought, I don't want to disturb that frame of mind that he has if I give him that stress that I'm not streaming, now you find someone else to stream <laughs> last minute. So that is something I didn't want. Hi, I have live audience also. Yeah, we are going to um, wrap up very soon, but we are going to keep playing and we have to come first today. I also have to break Abhishek Goindi's record, or at least come first. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to have him do some hand histories. Most likely next next time, whenever he's in Delhi or something. So if there was any one hand that you have any questions regarding the tournament that he won, please send it to us and we will get back to you. And also, once again, don't forget to join stream tomorrow
ist es nicht. <lacht> Let's go. And what else? We have a very decent stack, to be honest, over here. But here we have to do, we still have rehab on our table. Only some new players have joined in. I know this player, I know this player. Uh, hi, Kabaddi stars. Uh, what do you think about poker future in India? I think it's going to be great. And trust me, the right kind of people with the right mindset, um, with the right vision for you are uh, on it. They're going to do some amazing things. And if you're saying tax related, I do not know. Um, if you want to have a conversation, if you want us to, maybe I would do this in one of my segments where I can bring uh, a CA who, is, who specializes in poker and come in talk to us about the taxes and come and help us if say you file your own taxes and if you want to understand how to do that then we are going to do that and we are going to uh, help you understand this situation and you should also know that a lot of other industries are also now like you know they're increasing uh, their taxes so it's something that an informed and a, a person who has an expert in it should talk to you about it than you know you even having to hear uh, other uh, you know just other people's opinion i think you should straight up speak to a ca and have all these doubts out of the way and guessing what a government is going to do is also very hard in a country or in fact this happens all over the world every state has its own law and order and we have to abide by it and every state that you go to even as you know you're a tourist you have to abide by their rules so you should do your own due diligence and check and find out what is right for you and what is wrong and um, in that state you know you should not be that oh i didn't know i did something and later you're in trouble so you should always be well informed and uh, in india the future of poker is going to be great um, it's going to have that prestige that it, uh, it deserves and it, it, this is the land of geniuses so uh, why not that you know poker is celebrated here it's silly that we don't have um, you know the best player best hundred players in the world in the world indians and that can happen with the volume that we can put in this is an interesting hat i'm just going to play it first Thank you, Mohit. BRB after this hand. Well, this hand is very simple now. Yeah. Thank you. And Webby is watching the stream also. He's watching the stream. Let's. I'm throwing something at you. Cheers. Adi is saying, try talking to yourself for five, <laughs> for five years straight. Someone is saying, I look... Uh, Magrish is saying that I look fresh. Yeah, I um, I think I did speak about this in the just in the beginning of the stream that I did three days of Shirodhara and like at least seven days of Ayurvedic treatments I've been doing. So I'm very relaxed. Otherwise, I I feel like small small headaches or I feel something or you know when I'm meditating I don't feel that there's clarity and it's coming with it like if i need an external help it's ayurveda but i have to get very serious enough of you know enough of just being very casual in life now it's time to have that kind of discipline that you know that's it Le leave no stone to unturned and just just do it and just make it happen mm -hmm. 
you know be the best best version of yourself and i did that i did that for a few months then again off track then again for a few months and again i want consistency like these are my goals for myself and my own um, you know issue and then also read more books i read so many books during covid i read and then audio books and all also i keep listening to and i keep i am going to leave this hand i'm just going to check his task also just for satisfaction okay yeah we can um yeah, because he's the SPR is going to be uh, that he's going to show up later on and we just have a gutty. So and we do. I think he does have a lot of queen exes there already. And after checking everything and we decided to fold there. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Uh, honey, we are going to do a sit and go. Are you going to come and play with us? It's going to be um, invite only players. Let's see, we're going to do it for just the streamers, like people who are in the chat also. We can all play together, uh, but we all have to be connected either through voice or something. I am calling off these pocket sevens. If I am jammed on by this guy, I'm going to fold. This guy, obviously, right now is not important. The stack is too short. You can. I don't know if the rebuy is still on. Rebuy ends in a minute. But he can anyway rebuy later also. And let's see when is a break. So now, I think at this stage, the having a stack is going to be important, but also time for me to now focus and play the this tournament is still live the pride and we are still in the daily value also if you want i am going to update the results on my insta and i will request pokabazi also to update it on their story in case you are curious to know what happens from here um, i know i keep saying bye but i never leave but give me a moment just wanted to show you that hand Oh, yeah, I have one more hand, just wrong table. Okay. I have kings in the other hand. Wait. I'm going to check this. Yeah, we're going to uh, flat here because we want the shorter stacks to jam and then we can pre-jam. And over here, pocket eight was a fair decent fold over there. They showed up with ace king and ace ten. The web he is watching the stream. Please fold <laughs> because I don't want you to then say, oh my God, I was watching the stream. Nice important flop we're gonna check now i'm gonna bet
and the, on the other table we just opened the ace high on the button and it got folded we folded around and then we just picked up some blinds up is point pay it should go all in then we have Nice. Um Oh, oh, sick one. Great one, great answer, Adi. That was a great answer and a great question. Sorry, I was in a hand, but you got the best answer. And that king's hand was great. Actually, we got paid and it was a setup. We got also very lucky. Let me show you the other table also. Yeah. And that's why I was wondering whether, you know, what should be the sizing on the turn also. Let's see. Oh, I have to show you the other table. I have A ten over there. My mouse is acting up. Nice. Oh, we have we are the chip leader right now, huh? But it's still so early, it does not matter right now. There are like 115 people left. But having chips right now is also valuable. I have mouse again. Okay, the break is starting and it has and it was a lovely, lovely, lovely stream. Thank you so much. We'll be back next week. And if you have any feedback, any comments, let us know in the chat right now or later. Um, you can talk to Pokabazi team. We all, all of us, um, a few of us thought I have just recently joined this team. But they have been doing an excellent job and I have seen how much hard work they put in and it takes a lot of effort for, you know, just a small stream like this to be successful because trust me, a lot of hard work is required for even making a, a Christmas theme set up like this. So thank you so much, everyone, team, uh, Pokabazi, Adi, Sanjay sir, Gautam, everyone, whoever's involved. Um, and um, yes, see you next time. And thank you so much for watching the stream, being a lovely audience, keeping me energized with your chat. Um, streaming can be um, something that, you know, you requires that extra uh, push from within because it, you know, pushes you a little bit out of your comfort, comfort zone. But I think it's a great way because uh you 
you do uh, you're really like you're all these thoughts and then what you have to say and uh, you know when you're playing in front of people and your cards are exposed it's a different experience and i think more players should ex- experience that try that and come out and start streaming don't be afraid don't be shy of how you play the hand because later when you get better those are the streams that you're going to watch and laugh at so thank you merry christmas happy new year good luck good night and take care